Yeah, okay, there's a storyline as soon as you enter the town. It's the negative version of that girl. Why are you staring at me? Is there something on my face? This town isn't a place you want to be right now. Please leave. Although there's going to be a weird cut, because I'm going to try to cut the um, original cinematic from entering the town into today's stream when I upload it later, so. It'll have a weird cut where my outfit will change and I'll be, like, in the wrong position, but it is what it is. There it is, the drow. It doesn't really look like a dark elf. Ah, you're a traveler, just in time. Actually, I have a small favor to ask of you. There used to be an old church here, but recently there was a collapse of unknown origin. Everything is buried under rubble. Nobody wanted to clean it up, so I was getting rid of the rubble on my own. Until one day I came across a strange glittering book. I went to check the contents of the book, and Holy Oliver jumped out from the shadows and snatched it away from me. Hey, can you help me defeat Holy Oliver and get the glittering book back? Of course I'll thank you. Alright, I'll go take out Holy Oliver. Ah, oh, will you do it? That book might be someone's precious thing. Thanks for taking care of it. Holy Oliver is going to be at... Celadot Mountain Pass. Well then... I'll be looking forward to working with you. Thanks, bro. And I'm going to hit the church real quick just so we can bind ourselves to this town. And then once Belkrim hits 75, he'll have new weapons, which will be nice, too. Because we've been running these daggers for a while, but it's like there hasn't really been anything better that wouldn't have cost me an obscene amount of gold, so... I was like, oh, we'll leave it till I farm some stuff up. I'll, they're not, like, bad, but they're, you know, we could have better things. Okay, let's swap out. We're probably, well, we might have to go back to all trades, so we'll swap out the uh, banquet hall. And there's like rumors going around again that they're gonna like release the uh the like offline version of this game but i'm like i don't know it would be cool if they did like i don't think i would play it since i've been playing this one but it would be really cool if they did bring it out but i don't think it goes that far into the story i think it's mainly just version one but i don't know like i haven't really looked into it because i i'm gonna be real i've, I've always found chibi art really off-putting i don't really like it so it wasn't really something I was super interested in getting. If it was my only option, I would get it for the story, but like, you know, I can play the, the actual game, so I'll just do that. All right, if I'm remembering correctly, Holy Oliver should be like the little little dudes like this. Yeah, there we go. It's got a little wand. Okay, so that's that, that's that. All right, I just want to remember my moods real quick because I got a couple new ones.
All right, well, we definitely have the DPS. It'll be when we fight something hard if this composition works out. Because I was thinking about putting in a Minstrel, uh, but I, I feel like Belkrum's a pretty good support on his own. Not the same kind of support. Like, Minstrels have, like, healing capabilities. And yeah. Finally caught up and I got like one of my favorite items in the game is the um I don't have to worry about dying anymore. I don't lose any of my gold if I die, so that's rad. Uh beyond that, uh I have the upgraded version of the Thieves Key now, so we can actually open the uh like the black lock doors and stuff that we've been running into, so we'll be able to get through them now. Uh but I couldn't do any of those quests until I was like level 70. He didn't drop it, did he? I don't think he did. That was just a chest. Okay, I was gonna say. Oliver, can you just give it to me? I know it's like something to do with clarity, but I can always tell, like, it's really easy to tell when you've gotten the item you need, uh, because, like, the game has that, like, little stutter when it's like, oh, you found the item. So, it, like, I always know immediately when I'm, like, done fighting what I need to fight for a quest, which I know that's probably just kind of, like, a part of the way clarity works. I don't even know if it is clarity. I think it is. Uh, but it makes life a lot easier. A little bit of feedback kind of thing. Looks like you got the glittering book back. Come on, give it to me. Thanks. Hey, surely this is the book that Holly Oliver stole. All right, let me see what's inside. This is not something that should be written casually by others. This is not a book for str- I'm sorry, but please take the opportunity to deliver this book to the mayor's house. The mayor's house is the big house on the west side of town. Well then, I'll be looking forward to seeing you. big red one. The old man's got the same haircut as Warbeard. Oh shit, I missed it. I wish I could jump over the railings like I get it like I think I honestly think the I think the jump was maybe put into the game later. I I don't know why it like it doesn't feel like jump was like built into the game from the beginning uh, because you can't really jump over things. So I feel like the geometry in that wasn't designed with like jumping in mind, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just, you know, that's just how they set it up. But it just it feels like the jump was like. Something that got put in in like a later version of the game. Are you okay? You, you gooding okay? All right, good. You again? What do you want? My dad's not here right now. Hey, that's... That's my sister's diary. Hey, give that to me. My hands have turned into mittens. <laughs> I've been looking for this for so long. Uh, and you are? 
Your name's Belcrum. My name's Lucolia. This diary belongs to my twin sister, Lissalot. Oh. It was left behind by my sister. It's not often you come out of your room and now you're standing here talking. Don't you have anything better to do? You're busy every single day. Too busy to visit even your own daughter's grave. The child has no idea what they're talking about. You are a disgrace. You're not my daughter. This guy's a bitch. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I'm too busy to talk today. I must ask you to leave. Sorry, my dad's a dick. Thank you for bringing this diary to me. Well, goodbye. So she knows about the girl in the fake one, then. To drow and let him know we dropped it off. It's something weird, like in version one, almost every well that you ran into, you could like jump down into. But for some reason in version two, almost, not all of them, but like almost every single well is like covered up. It's like they're like, we're we're done with the wells. We're not we're not we're not doing anything underneath the wells anymore. We're over it. Usually it was just like a treasure chest with like like a minor healing item in it, but it was still cool. Sometimes there was even a mini metal. It appears you've delivered Miss Lissalot's diary. It's a big weight off my shoulders. Thank you. It's a small token of my appreciation. Here, take it. Mini metals. I think I just leveled up. Or my master orb did one of the two. I would have gone to report it, but the current mayor's house is a bit unapproachable. As a matter of fact, when the collapse happened here, the children who were playing in the church were buried under the rubble and died. The mayor's daughter, Lucolia, is the only survivor in the town. I hope she'll live strong. kind of interesting because in their world all of the adults disappeared when the magic circle went off a lot of popping happening today i don't usually see that but i'm noticing it a lot right now i did it again i don't know why it's like i focus on the roof of the house and i like try to run to the roof of the house like no it's down here it's like a really bad habit i have in this area Every time I have to go to the mayor's house, I do that. I run up those stairs because I'm like looking at the roof. There's like a weird amount of pop in. Oh, it's probably the decorated door. You must be Belkrum. I wanted to ask you something. You were once called an honorary child in some town, weren't you? I knew it. In fact, I have a letter here that I wrote, and I'd like you to deliver it to my sister, Lissalot. Okay? You must give it directly to my sister, Lissalot herself. Of course, you'll take care of it, won't you? Thank you. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know you can do it. Oh, 
she called it a letter to heaven. I kind of like this like evil little Pookalipu guy I got in my party too. He's got like a like a rad cybernetic eyepiece on him. It's actually weird how many people like register their characters to be like sent out as adventurers that like they don't equip. They'll like pick. I can tell that they're like picking a class that they want just to get passive experience. But like the class like doesn't have any skills. It doesn't have like any armor or like half the time they don't even have weapons. And it's like nobody's going to rent your character because you're not doing anything with it. You got to at least make the character like worth having in the party. Huh? Never seen you around here before. My name's Sadak. I'm a traveling medium. Hey, you. Your soul is a slightly different color than most people. What's your name? Let's see, Belkrum. I've come here to save this town from evil spirits. Feel free to ask me if you have any questions. Good. I'm going to go see Liss a lot. Maybe it's just this town because it's really dense on buildings. I never really noticed that uh, before, but yeah, there's like a strange amount of pop in here. All right, I'm going to stop talking about it, but it's like super noticeable. Jeez. I do like that they have these like little like go back and forth between the two worlds like pretty easily outside of the towns. Like instead of having them be in like really like far off spots, they're, they've actually done a really good job putting them in like convenient areas. There's even a few zones where it's like you have to like go there in one world, transfer over so that you can get through, get to like another part of the zone in the other world that you're actually trying to get to. There's like block, you know, the worlds are slightly different, so there's like blockages in one that aren't in the other and stuff like that. Not like, you know, two different mirror worlds is a super different thing, but I don't know. It's done well. Although, even though it's like not at all attached, playing this makes me just this part because of like the two worlds and it puts that kind of mindset on me. I really want to play uh, Soul Reaver. I've thought about streaming those games because like I'm a, I'm a big legacy of Kane guy. Like <laughs> I love those games like ever since like Blood Omen came out back on the PS1, even though it had like obscenely ridiculous load times and everything like I loved that game when I was a teenager, played the hell out of it, played all of the games. I tried to like set up Soul Reaver to stream once and I don't know why OBS like won't grab the capture. And I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I couldn't get it to work. Uh, but I might try again sometime because like I love those games and I would love to like play through them all again on stream or something. Um, I don't know about. Well, I feel like I could do Blood Omen. It's just it's it's a lot different than the rest of them. But this, I think the story is still worth seeing. It's really cool. It's just it hasn't aged as well as the rest. Of them. The rest of them like they've aged, but like Blood Omen's like really aged. But it's still an excellent game. She should be upstairs. I'm going to turn that off. Usually I have a fan on in here because it's like ridiculously hot in this place, but. If I get hot, I'll turn it off. open this yet like I'm yeah there we go <laughs> the thunder and wind that probably would have been useful when I was fighting the genie oh hello it's been a while Mr. Belkram I was just thinking about my sister I have a twin sister named Lucalia but when I failed to summon a demon and my magic went out of control she disappeared along with all the adults what you know about Lucalia where in the world is she?
thought I'd never see her again. But to get a letter from her, it's like a lie. Probably like a dream. Dear sister in heaven, how many months have passed since my sister passed away? The town is still surrounded by a heavy atmosphere. I was almost driven crazy with grief, but I'm managing somehow. So please don't worry. Please watch over me from heaven. This peculiar character is indeed Lucalia's character. Mr. Belker, what does this letter mean? Where did you receive this letter? Malcolm explained to Liss a lot that he had met Lucolia in the town of Selid in the True Lindersia. True Lindersia? It's a crazy story, and I don't really understand it. According to this letter, we are supposed to be dead in your town of Selid. That's very rude of them. Anyway, I'm relieved to hear that my sister is safe. I could write in my diary today if I don't keep a journal. I'll never know how long it's been since the adults disappeared. I just go back now, right? Yeah. I'm afraid I bumped my head. Yeah, yeah. Now I just really want to play Legacy. <laughs> the only thing that sucks is like Blood Omen isn't on Steam. Um, I can get it on GOG. But for some reason, it's probably like a well, it's definitely a licensing thing, but like all of the other games like Blood Omen 2, Soul Reaver 1 and 2 and Defiance are all on Steam. But then um, Blood Omen itself, I've only found it on GOG. So I thought about like getting just like a PS1 version of it, but God, those load times are brutal. So maybe I'll just pick it up on GOG sometime and play it because it's I haven't played it since I was a teenager, like the original. Uh, I've played the other ones more than once, but it's even been probably at least 10 years since I played some of them. But they were really good games. It's too bad that they, like, got screwed over by being turned into, like, a terrible team shooter that didn't go anywhere. Fucking shit people do when they get IPs. Like, I'm sure the devs had maybe the best intentions to make something cool, but, like... You took like a story driven kind of puzzle based action game and turned it into a shooter. Hey, come on, get your shit together. Why are his hands mittens? It's really putting me off. I wonder what's going on there. Usually he has like proper hands, but for some reason in these cutscenes, he's just got mittens. Delivered the letter, right? You don't have to tell me. I already know. They Belcrum came here to see me. They brought a letter from Lucolia, but then talked about something I didn't understand. Is there another salad where we're supposed to have died or something? I'm more relieved now, knowing that Lucolia is safe. But what is going on? I read through this diary you gave me, and it has entries dated after my sister's death. This beautiful handwriting is definitely my sister's. It's like her writing up from the sky comes to life in this diary. The adult disappearing, Lucino, and the genie, and a traveler named Belcrum. I asked you for an errand to test you. But I really knew you could go to her. Please, tell me more about her. I'm going to describe what they'd seen in the Salad of the False Lindersia. Hero, Mazar, Maraca. They all died when the church collapsed. That other Salad 
It's a town where those dead children live, isn't it? I don't really understand how it works, but with this diary, I'll always have a connection with my sister. I'm glad I know that now. Please take this as thanks for delivering that letter. I don't know what I got. Something good, maybe. It's kind of weird. This is what I was saying yesterday. So it puts these story quests into it as like a main story, like proper quest. And like, look at how many quests there are to do. But I'm not going to do all of them. Like so many of them, like I said before, are like hair dyeing quests and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Maybe if I'm like real desperate for some experience points, I'll go do them. But beyond that, I'll just leave it off. But I am going to do like some of the guiding quests for like the small town. I'm going to do like the Weddy small town and then I'm going to do each of the like minor and major kingdoms uh, because this, I think the side stories are actually pretty cool and they really tie back uh, to the main plot of 1.0. So I'm going to do them at some point. Um, and there's there's even side stories for like version two as well that we'll look into. Ah, we've met before. My name is Barat, mayor of this town. What is your name? It's the Belkrum, is it? From the looks of it, you seem to be quite skilled. I feel like he doesn't look that skilled. <laughs> I ordered an item from the item shop, but they're short of high quality wool for tailoring. So I was looking for someone that could help me procure it. High quality wool is dropped off by Pan Pan at Sellet Mountain Pass. I was wondering if you could get me about 10 pieces. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I won't hold back. If you receive high quality wool, please deliver it to the item shop in this town. I've already spoken to her. Please do as I ask. I don't know. I don't know where those boys are because I had to farm a bunch of them to actually get the armor that I'm wearing now, which is the ugliest armor. <laughs> Here, I'll actually I'll take off the glamour for a second because it's brute. So it's like sheep armor. There's me. There's a helmet too, but I didn't need it, so I didn't get it. But I was like, I'm not taking the glamour off. It's not great looking. All right, let's get back on our cool, cool guy outfit. There's like some really great looking armor in this game and then there's like some like really questionable. Although like I bet you some people are like, that's so cute. Like I love that arm. Oh, hey, wait. <laughs> All right, I get where the evil spirit thing's coming from. Well, they didn't seem evil. They're just children. I guess he can jump off of some things. I don't know. It's weird. Like I said, I really I really feel like the jump is from a different thing. I was also looking at because um, I was thinking about, OK, like, what do I want to stream? Like, I always plan a little bit ahead. Like, what do I want to stream after we're done? Mother three. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a vote up in the discord and on YouTube in that again um, and maybe have it between like Dragon Quest 11, um, Lost Odyssey, Star Ocean second story and like uh, maybe Breath of Fire 3 something like that uh, just for funsies I think if I did Star Ocean the second story I think I'm going to play the original version um, no shade on Square for the remake like the remake looks great but I don't know I I really find the old like pre-rendered backgrounds and that really charming and I feel like a bit of that is lost, like transitioning over to like the 3D environment. Um, I think it's one of the 
better looking remakes of a game that I've seen in a long time. Like, they definitely kind of captured the aesthetic in that. But I don't know. I just, I really like... It's also like a big nostalgia thing for me because like PS1 was when I like I like I always played video games ever since like Atari when I was a kid. But like, I don't know, PS1 for some reason is like the time frame in gaming when I have like the most nostalgia for. Like I have a decent amount for like Super Nintendo and Genesis and all that. But I don't know, something about the like PS1 era that just the graphics, the way the games were, the like you know, the restrictions that they had and they had to work around, just something about all that I find super charming, so. That's what I think I'll do anyway. If I ever do play through uh, Star Ocean's second story, which we will eventually, I'll probably play it just the original version for funsies. And I'm excited to get around to that one because I actually I never played that one when I was a kid. So like just I was I was looking at a couple of videos with like comparisons of the two and I was like, I honestly just really like the look of the PS1 version. So, you know. But I also got to get my ass in here because I I've been meaning to like take a look at my PS1 and see if I can get it running properly again. So. I need to actually, like, get some electrical tape and uh, get it opened up and make sure it's okay. Oh, you fool. Why, why isn't he doing anything? The Demon Swordsman's just standing there. Like, he's not actually doing anything. He's got all of his skills. I have no idea what his problem is. Damn it. Oh, that's why he's like buffing everybody. I guess that's fine. I can't complain about that. I know the last time that I like put it up to a vote, uh, the game that had like the second most votes after um, Legend of Dragoon was um, Lost Odyssey. And that is one that I really, really wanted to get around. Like, get around to playing, and it has full voice acting, so I I can, like, give everybody a break from me doing that. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna make sure, too, I'm gonna take a little Dragon Quest break and, like, really hunker down because I really want to get uh I'm almost caught up completely in portable third like I'm I like an hour or two out I think from being done with it like for when I get back to streaming it so I really want to get to work on Freedom Unite because Freedom Unite's the one that like I, I got a lot of work to do with that one like a lot of work get the tension going Wipe this idiot out. Uh, I just want to check. What is that one move that I have now? Commands. Okay, so it's like, this one is for Sleep and Confusion. This one is for Paralyzed Poison. Confusion and... Okay, so this is Confusion or Paralysis, so it would work with either of these. I just gotta remember this is Paralysis. And then this one is Poison and Sleep. Okay, so they're just literally, like, the same as these two. But, they're not the same as these two, but they come with, like, both versions of these and then both versions of the debuff. Okay, I just have to keep that in mind. Paralysis goes with the Poison one. Confusion goes with the sleep one.
There we go. I like when there's three of them. We'll get it done quicker. Okay, these boys are really susceptible to sleep, so just knock his ass out. Go sleep, you fool. Set. All right, we just got to go to the item shop. All right. I, the only thing I don't remember, I don't remember if, I wonder if, Lost, I remember Lost Odyssey being hard. At least I remember that, like, a lot of the bosses I ended up, like, butting my head against and, which is, it's a good thing, but, like, I remember having to, like, really, really, um, like, tailor my party to what I was trying to beat. Like, I would run into bosses where it was, like, no, like, my standard setup doesn't work, like, I need to, like, sit here and, like, tinker around with, like, Equipment and stuff like that a lot. Could that face possibly be the high quality wool the mirror asked you to bring? Here you go. Ah, oh, it's pretty good quality wool. Well then, I'll go right out and make what the mirror asked me to make out of it. Yeah, it's pretty well done. It's quite a piece of work. You have to take this package to the mayor's office. Ooh, a pretty parcel. Still, there's a surprising side to that serious looking mayor. Ordering something so cute. What the hell did he order? Fresh air. Some of these are like, they're so like obvious when you find them, but if you don't like have the town at that like perfect angle. That was kind of how I felt like back in the, like when some of the Dragon Quest games started going with the uh, more 3D environments on the 3DS, there was like some really deviously hidden chests that like, it's like if you're not rotating the town as you're walking around like almost constantly, you're just gonna miss random things. I think I noticed it a lot in Dragon Quest four where I'd have to like rotate things around. And I'm like, oh shit. No, Crimson, don't cheat. I always forget that's a spell. There's an item for it, too, but I never use it. I'm like, I'll just find them organically. But we'll get there. Did you see? Did you see my hideous armor, Crimson? It's real bad. Ah, you don't want to see our master, do you? If you are the master, I just let he just left a few minutes ago to go to Melaine's house. Malane's house is south of the clinic and has a water pump in front of the house. If you're in a hurry, please follow him. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Here's Belkrum's level 70 armor. It's beautiful. I'm a sheep. <laughs> so bad. There's a helmet for it, too, but I didn't need the helmet. But I got some cool daggers and fans for level uh, 75, so I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to get up there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. She said it was across from the clinic and it had a water pump. This is the clinic, right? I can... I've seen a water pump. Maybe this is it. Yeah, there's a water pump. I guess it's like kind of across from the clinic. 
I've been getting them from drops because Belkrum's poor. Look at this boy. He's only got $211,000 he dues. I'm being cheap. Lately, I've been seeing my son's ghosts a lot. So I was talking to the mayor about it a while ago. But right after I sent him off, the ghost appeared again. This time, the master said he saw it clearly, too. It's good to know that I'm not crazy. But what on earth is going on? Yeah, so I've been I've been starting to think I'm like, well, I'm going to do cooking on Warbeard. Like I've been hoarding every cooking item I find. I just haven't actually sat down and like leveled up cooking because um, Warbeard's got like four and a half milli. So he's doing OK. Um, and Belkrum, I'm thinking either blacksmith or maybe sewing because uh, I really seem to be tending towards like caster classes. So I, I haven't decided yet. But we're going to get to it. Ah, Mr. Mayor. So I've been starting to hoard like sewing um, like materials on Belkrum just to like make sure I have stuff ready to go. If it's the mayor, he's on his way to the church to consult with the others. All right, let's go. Ooh. This guy asked me to like go get him a package and then he's wandering all over the damn town. But it's been OK, like usually um, like, I have a pretty good website for, like, equipment drops and, like, what monsters drop, like, what things that can be equipped by, like, each class and that. Uh, so I've been using that a lot, and it's been super duper useful. Uh, so I just kind of check ahead by, like, every 10 levels and see if there's something worth going to get. But I was told by a lot of people that the equipment you get from doing the... Class quest is, like, apparently good enough up to level 99, apparently. I don't know about that, but I've, like, a number of people have said that. Where's this boy? He's so grouchy. Like, I get it. Like, all the kids died, but, like, seriously. You don't have to be mean to everybody. He shouldn't be mean to his, like, daughter about it. Thank you. That makes me feel a little better. I've been worried ever since I've heard about those ghost children. Don't worry. You can always talk to me if you need. We'll get through this step by step. As always, I'm so sorry. It must be hard for your family, too, losing your daughter and all. I'm fine, as long as everyone in town is doing well. Come on, your husband must be worried. Let's head back. Ah, oh, Belkrim, is that parcel I ordered by any chance? May I please have it? What the hell? What the? An earthquake? Church. <laughs> A voice. Whose voice was that? I can't handle this anymore. And the rumors are true. The dead children despise us and want to drag us down with them. She just runs away. Born a wait. Church in the color of the sky. What on earth is going on? Huh? What are you two doing just standing there staring into space? It's nothing. We'd better be careful. Let's go inside. I laughed just now. It was Lysolos. Does she... All right, please come to my house so that I can thank you for delivering the parcel. Yeah, I gotta go back to his damn house, this guy. Am I, like, wearing something weird? It's the goddamn sheep gloves, that's why. Okay, now I know. I was like, why are, Warbe or why are Belkrum's hands fucking mitts? 
Okay, here's what we gotta do. I think if I remove it and then wear normally, there we go. Okay, it's like, it's the game glitching out. Like, why don't I have fingers anymore? <laughs> All right, we're good. I'm just losing it. I was gonna say his hands looked a little pale too, like he had frostbite. Look at that. Look at those beautiful hands. They're still the they're still kind of gloves. They just have the lines on them now. So we're good. We're feeling better. It's definitely Lissalot's voice I heard at the church. Ah, Mr. Belcrum, I'm sorry for my mistake earlier. It seems I made you go a long way this time, and I apologize for all the trouble I caused you. Now, this is a thank you for me. Seed oh, of Deafness! Oh shit, we might be switching back to Demon Swordsman quicker than I thought. Actually, I probably won't. What I'll probably do is just uh, go to the concierge and bank the experience. Actually, it might be cool to see what... Um, what new abilities the Demon Swordsman has now that we can uh, unlock skills up to level 150. Or up to 150, I should say. I've been meaning to order that important item for a long time, but I just haven't been able to make time for myself lately. I know you must be horrified by the strange happening at the church, but I beg you not to go around. The hearts of the people in this town are now weak. If they knew that something like that was going on, they might panic. Don't worry, bro, we're cool. I am going to use that seed, though. Thank you. Ah, Mr. Belcrum, actually, I have another favor to ask of you in light of your skills. I would like to hold a meeting to calm the anxieties of the town's residents who are frightened by ghostly visions. First of all, I'd like you to get peace incense, which calms people's minds to make them calm down. Peace incense. Ah, you can do it? Please, come this way so that I can explain the details. He said, since I would like you to fetch for me, is said to be dropped by elder dragons in the Liana desolate area. He's really mean to like, I, I get that she's like kind of being a bit of a brat, but like, you know, you could be nice to her, dude. Do you not see that I have a visitor, Lucalia? Can't you even knock? I heard from Mom. You're holding a meeting for everyone in town, aren't you? Well, that's not important. Why don't you just go lay some flowers on Lissalot's grave? You've never even visited her grave. You're always making excuses, saying you're too busy. My very important job as mayor. As a child, you can never understand the importance of an adult's work. This guy. You're also a parent, dude. You're interrupting my conversation. Leave. Now. Good grief. I apologize you had to see that. I've become quite brazen. She's become quite brazen these days. There isn't much time before the meeting. Please go and get that incense I asked for. Desolate area. How do I get there? I'm going to have to check.
Are you okay? There we go. Jeez. All the adults are scared because they think the dead children despise them. Here, you should read this. We've always rebelled against adults. But now that we're living on our own, we've come to appreciate them more. Now we go to All Trades Abbey every day to pray. We don't miss a single prayer, hoping the adults will come home soon. We may not see the adults ever again, but if we keep praying, then maybe one day. They don't hate anyone. They quietly pray at the All Trades Abbey every day, hoping that the adults will return. Now all of the adults have stopped praying altogether. This is also backwards. Actually, it'll probably take me there. Yeah, well. Uh, bah, 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 true Lissolation area. Oh, it's going to take me right there. It's at the Waterfall Village. Perfect. I do like that they saved me like five or so, sometimes up to ten minutes of running. <laughs> Get it done. Just a sec. Okay. Alright, so he said dragon, so well, we just gotta keep an eye out. Well, that looks like a dragon that would drop a incense. I like these tree dragons, they're cool. Alright, let's get him with the old Cobra Strike. It's a little tree. Sorry, the water looked weirdly good there for a second. See, that's one of the cool things about this game is like the, the graphic style they chose is like pretty like it'll last a long time. Uh, because it's stylized in, like, such a good way that it, like, I don't know, like, it doesn't look dated or anything, which is cool. Even though it's been out for, like, a decent amount of time. Alright, we got that. Where's that door? One sec, I'm gonna hit the end anyway. Uh, but I wanna... I haven't actually gotten to use my new key yet. It's a black lock door. Fresh air! Ooh, there we go. 500 casino tokens. Right, 
Buddy should be in his house. I also really want to know more about this, like, river of light effect that is in, like, random places in the world. Because there's, like, places on, like, um, I think it's the Elf Continent. And then there's, like, this random place here and then the mountain where the church is. Or where the, like, the big abbey is. Uh, that have, like, that river of light running through them. here. Oh. Dear Mr. Belcom, I'm going to prepare for the meeting first, so could you please deliver the peace incense to the assembly hall? Location is from the west of the water pumping station, past the underpass. And all the way along the gate. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Thank you in advance, Barat. This guy just, like, can't wait at his goddamn house for me, eh? Should be. There's the water pump house. Shit, I completely forgot too. I actually said I was gonna do uh, Mystical Ninja after Mother 3. <sighs> I do want to try capturing N64. Like, I've only done one test capture of it, uh, but I would like to actually like do a full gameplay of like an N64 game at some point. Uh, so I'll have to get around to that. Well, maybe I will just do that and then we'll get to something else after that. I think that game will be really fun to play through. And I don't think it's terribly long. Like, I think it would be like maybe a day or two. Like, I don't think it's a very long game. I've heard it can be a little bit cryptic on like what you're supposed to do. So maybe there'd be a bit of like running around not knowing where to go. But I feel like that would be like the worst case scenario. I'd like to get my hands on the Super Nintendo Mystical Ninja game, too. That one looks really fun, but I've never actually seen a copy in real life. Like, I've never, like, ran across it. All right, cool. Altar's looking good. Oh, the milk. Oh, good. You brought the incense just in time for the meeting. Can you please give it to me? Thank you. We have a special guest for the meeting this time. I'm certain it'll go quite well. The discussion should be quite informative and enlightening. I hope you'll join us. Adults from all over town gathered at the meeting hall place. Thank you all for joining us today in this very unexpected meeting. Since the accident at the old church, the signs of ghosts have most of you upset and frightened, so... I hired this dickhead to butt in front of me. That's why I've come here. Today I'll free you from your sadness and your worries. You're like, oh, thank god, I hate sadness and worries. My name is Sadak. I'm a traveling medium and I have come to rid this town of those terrorizing evil spirits. You're calling our children evil spirits. That's right, they are evil spirits. If one dies harboring a grudge, their souls become evil spirits who curse the living. That's sad. First, I'll purify this room by burning the peace incense mixed with sacred ashes. I've prepared so no evil spirits can enter here.
Wow, what a nice smell. Yeah, it's really comforting. Now, I want you all to think back to when your children were alive. Do you have any reason? Do they have any reason to hold a grudge? Do you remember mistreating them? I always had a strict curfew and didn't let them play much. I lectured them too much about needing to study. Maybe that pushed them over the edge. It all makes sense. Founded by strict discipline, the children resented the adults and holed up in that church to play. And then lost their lives when it collapsed. Now aimlessly wander this world as evil spirits with a grudge against the world. If this continues, the evil spirits will not stop, eventually dragging you down with them. Oh my god, this guy's relentless. But do not worry, I will protect you. You have no reason to be afraid of them anymore. You're a liar. The children don't hate the adults. This diary proves it. This is my sister's diary. It's special and connects our world with the other world. You'll see that the world is a light. Sorry. You'll see what that world is like. The children who died don't even realize that they're dead. In that world of death, where only children exist, they're all waiting for the adults to return someday. You dare to defy me again, Lucolia? You just mimic Lissalot's handwriting and made up this bogus story. Your childish fantasies are driving me crazy. It's not a fantasy. Get the hell out of here and don't you ever interrupt me again, you hear? If I was her, I'd run the fuck away from home and make him feel bad for the rest of his shitty life. I apologize for my daughter's rudeness. She ruined this very important meeting. No, no, don't worry. Let's adjourn for now. We can continue this meeting another day. I've done what I needed to do, so you're all free to go today. Leave the evil spirits to me. He has a cool mustache, but I don't trust him. I apologize that the meeting ended up the way it did after all the help you gave us. As Sadak said, thanks to that incense, everyone was relaxed and attentive until about halfway through. I hope this won't deter you from joining us again. Please take this as my thanks. I do like that I get a jaunty tune every time I finish a quest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go be mean to my daughter some more. Instead of grieving properly. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, talk to Lucolia. There's so many names that I feel like I'm definitely saying incredibly wrong, but... Like, what would it be? Like, Lucolia? I feel like it's like Lucolia. Makes sense to me. That's what we're going with. There's Corbass. Or Cor Corbass. You can't really see anything in there either. It's just pure light. I also better get my uh, button here at some point before Wednesday and get the old Wii U hooked up and ready to go again as well. Make sure that everything's cool with my uh, three ultimate save because that's where we're heading. I'm kind, I'm kind of sad to be real with you to like be leaving behind four ultimate for a bit, but I said I was just going to go to credits in each village, so that's what we're doing. But I'm excited to get back to some three ultimate, even though I'm like... Actually, the underwater combat's not that bad. I find it a lot easier to fight underwater with a gun lance than I do with the sword and shield, but 
I feel like I can get used to it. Plus, I have gun lances made anyway, so. Uh, but you can always use more gun lances. And I'm pretty sure I was still just rocking, like, the Roggy equipment, so. I'll have to, like, see what else I can make at that point. Wait, it said, yeah, talk to the girl. Well, at least he's not being mean to her. He's just sitting in his room with his head hung in shame, so that's better than I thought. Oh, Mr. Belcrum, I just had a favor to ask you. Mr. Lisleth's diary. It was lost while I was gone for a while. I made sure to put it in my desk drawer before I left, but I can't find it no matter how hard I look. I think it could be one of the four people who were in the house during that time. Mom and Dad, the medium Sadak, and the priest who came as guests. I'm begging you, please help me find my diary. Will you do that for me? Yes, of course. Thanks. I'll look around the room some more. You look elsewhere. I'm counting on you. Now this one, like today might be a shorty. Just like get done the Salad quest and then like next time we do it, we'll do like the other two sections of the story. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll do the um, I'll I can't remember the name of the town. What the hell is it called again? Al Ahagiro region. Maybe we'll do that today, too. I can't remember. I, th I think it's pretty short, uh, but we'll have to see. In the tavern. OK. Wait, where's the tavern? That's the over here. Wait, where is the tab? It's like this. It must be like down here beside the item shop. There we go. Out man. Ugh, Sadok's guy came by earlier. He had a glittering book hidden under his arm. He's a real creepy guy. With his taste like a woman. Oh, he's saying like he had a woman's book or something, I guess. Heard what he just said to Belcrum. You there, drunkard. Hey, tell me, where did Sadak go with that diary? Huh? He's only here at the tavern for a little bit. After that, no idea where he went. Actually, he asked me where Linja Tower was, and I told him. He left right away. That's probably where he's headed. Got it. Thanks. Now I can expose that phony medium. By the way, what is that? Oh, it's called Softboard. Even if you get super smashed, one of these will perk you right up. You drunkard. Huh. I'd feel like an idiot to drink and just take medicine right after. I'm going to Linja Tower so I can track down Sadak in the diary. I'd really appreciate it if you could come with me. You can get there by heading north from the Saladot Mountain Pass, and then it's just past the coast ruins. I'll see you there.
I know how all these like people are surviving with all the monsters, but it's impressive. They must be really stealthy. Except I'm going there in style. Oh yeah, there's actually some like really cool quests in this tower that you can do. I think he's at the top, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Noogie. I like whenever I find these because these things are like a super good way to level up because uh, you can do them once a week. Any of these like trial gates that you've already done, you can redo them each week and like you get like a really decent chunk of experience for doing them. So like I just make sure I do them every week. I think they reset at like 5 p.m. on Saturdays, like my time zone, which is Eastern Standard. I'm not, I wonder if there's like some kind of like latency thing going on. The load times have been like really, really long today. All right, who are we up against? Because big boy can't have. It fucking killed Warbeard already? Come on, man. You're the fucking Redzer. Get your shit together. Alright, it's dead. God damn it. Now I have to take him to a church and resurrect him because he fucking died. What a fool. Oh, never mind. It, it gave him one hit point. Well, I'm not healing you, so you better figure it out on the next battle. Honestly, I think that thing has an insta kill move, to be honest with you. We just got unlucky, but still. One sec, sorry. I'm gonna get into a random battle because then hopefully he'll actually heal himself. Maybe not with one of those. We'll do one of these boys. Never mind. fucking dead again well I guess that makes sense he only had one hit point I'm gonna get wiped out all right warbeard save everybody Yeah, see, that's why I always make sure I have two resers, because I... You lose your, like, only reser, and it's just kind of annoying. 
Like, yeah, Belkrum can res too, but like his res is on like a decently long timer and I can't do it like right away. And Belkrum doesn't really have healing spells beyond like a little bit of a regen on hit. So, I don't know. So far it's been working. We just got unlucky with uh, Warbeard getting murked by that needle man. Come over here. Yo, so you're the Black Mask. Someone such as yourself to meet with me. I'm deeply humbled. Get that. Yes. <laughs> I love these demons. They're the best. You got snake feet and deer hair tail. Ah, so this is that prayer statue. How wonderful. How's the plan coming along? Townsfolk are completely under my control. All that's left is to put the finishing touches. If the adults pray to this statue, their prayers will cause all of Salad to completely erode into the false world. They all completely trust me without any idea of what's in store for them. <laughs> Why'd you steal little girl's diary, you weirdo? What is that? Belong to this annoying little human girl. Mentioned something about the false world, I think. Took it just to be safe, but I doubt anyone would believe her anyways. It matters not. If it's a problem, then get rid of it now. Of course. Oh. Any signs of worry, you must nip in the bud immediately, no matter how small. You mustn't underestimate humans. Ooh, that was menacing. Huh. You're really afraid of what humans can do? Ridiculous. This statue, my plan, is as good as gold. Once the erosion into the false world is complete, this world will be at my mercy. <laughs> it's time for the finishing touches. One mo. The diary was the only thing that kept us connected. Thanks, the doc is in league with the monster. Everyone will be in danger if we don't do something. We have to tell everyone. I'll be heading back now, so I'll see you when you get there. I really like this room, it's cool. Alright, peace out.
Yeah, I think maybe what I'll do is we'll do we'll do a shorty today. Uh, and we'll just finish off sail it and then next time I stream this we'll do there's like two more parts to 2.1 we'll do I think the fourth part was really short but I think Al Alec Al Hero was actually like decently long like almost as long as this which would be like another couple of hours which I do not have the time for today but let's go to the cliffside assembly hall um I'm pretty sure the fourth part of 2.1 is like decently short uh so if i do both of them at the same time it should be fine uh, but we'll have to see when that's gonna be because i'm not going to be streaming tomorrow uh but i should be back on as long as everything goes like according to plan i'll be doing my like standard thing uh with uh see of stars on monday and tuesday and all that and we'll be doing some swimming on Wednesday. Well, maybe it depends on the quest. Like, no, I'll make sure we swim. I'll make damn sure we swim at some point. I kind of feel like as as I did in like Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, I feel like I should make some switch axes. Um, I didn't really use switch axe in 3 Ultimate. I didn't actually really use switch axe until like World and Rise. And it was like mainly Rise. Like I use switch axe a lot in Rise. Uh, but I'm like, maybe we should try it out. Like, that's when it was introduced. Well, it was introduced in Try, but like, you know, three ultimate, same different. So maybe we'll maybe we'll give her a little shot. Um, I'll have to see if I have time to, like, make something. But if not, we'll just stick with the sword and shield and the gun lance for now. But I will before the playthrough is done. We'll we'll get some uh, switch axe going. Because I've been having a lot of fun, like trying weapons outside of my comfort zone. Uh, in the other game, so it's been kind of cool that way. Inside of the meeting place, a soothing aroma wafted in the air. Welcome back. Since last time, I've been on a journey to find a way to save the town. Now please, turn your attention to this statue. That looks evil. Like, it looks evil. You don't have snake feet and be a good person. That's not a thing. In order to summon the spirits here, you must show the power of prayer. Now please, pray to this prayer statue. The statue is filled with your prayers. It will extinguish the children's grudges, and they shall return here. Now I ask you, to bow down to this statue and pray. Ask the children for your forgiveness, and you shall all be saved. This a lot. Please forgive me. I'm sorry I was such a bad parent. Just forget about us and please rest in peace. That's not ideal. <laughs> How easy it is to toy with the hearts of people. Stalin will be one with the false world. All that's left of this world will be extinguished. Perish by your own prayers, not knowing that you will disappear forever. I hope he's just like whispering that to himself. Well, they're all hypnotized by its magic purple haze. Yeah, it's more of a pink. That's yeah, purple. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone, wake up! Oh, she's the drunkard Zerb. There you go. Uh, what? My eyes are watering. What the hell's going on? Uh, your body. <laughs> that guy's just like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> okay. Everybody's checking things out. Hey, the river of light. It's light is fading. little brat. How many times will you interfere with my plan? Very well. With this statue's power, I'll grant you a swift death to the world beyond. Hey, my body's back to normal.
What the? That's. He was an elephant all along. I like. I knew it. I knew he was an elephant. Ah! The monster! Everyone, get away quickly! <laughs> Run all you like. With the statue's power, I can bring about the false world with ease. I'll take care of you first. Then this world shall be my canvas. All right. Out of all the weapons he's carrying, Meat Cleaver is the best one. Help me, Belkrum. Ah, the claw's kind of cool, too. No, Meat Cleaver's my guy. All right, let's take out this elephant. Normal. Strong has, like, become a little bit too strong. Although, maybe this party can do a little bit better. I don't know. Why does Wolbeard insist on, like, running front and center and getting murdered? Kill me, bro. I want to use my abilities. Actually, maybe we'll try strong on the next one. This party seems to be working out a little bit better. Yesterday's party was having a rough time with strong. Strong was like wiping us. So. How could you beat me? I'm an elephant. How, how could I lose? I won't let my death be in vain. You're coming with me, little girl. Oh my god, he does care about her. There you go, buddy. Dad. I guess I... Really did underestimate you humans. God, what's wrong? You just... Don't worry. When I pushed you, you elbowed me right in the stomach. Don't scare me like that. Looks like the river light's all back to normal now. The doc tried to use the hearts of the adults to try to join both this world and the other world together. Save this town from a terrible fate. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. My failure to see that man for what he really was almost caused a horrible consequence. Everybody's prayers. Could those be? The erosion must still be going on. Dad, we have to hurry and get everyone safely 
to safety at the Abbey. I thought you said it was over, but if you insist, I'll tell everyone now he believes her. Sorry to ask again, but can you come with me? I want you to be there to see it too. I'll be waiting in the chapel in All Trades Abbey. I... Damn it. Okay, I knew it. Alright, that's fine. Beer should be okay, though, right? It, like, really... <laughs> they're, like, really strict about, like, what is a... Well, I guess, like, that cliff face was a roof, but they're, like... I don't know. They really made sure that, like, if it's, like, even slightly, like, an overhang that you can't do it. They're very good about it, I guess. All right, she said chapel, so I need to go up here. I like keep staring at that like uh, lethal company game and I'm like, I don't know. It looks really fun. It's just like I said, most of my friends, all they will play is like Age of Conan and Call of Duty. And I'm like, I struggle to get them to play anything else. So I don't know. I'm going to have to see. It's like super cheap, though. It's like 12 bucks. So I feel like I should be able to convince a couple people to play it, but I'll have to I'll have to see. Rocket's interested, so I got one. I just got to see if I can get two more into it. Because I, I think that would be fun. Even if I don't stream it, I think that get, I don't know. It just looks fun to play. I like games that like use proximity chat in like a cool way. So I don't know. I'll have to see. Good. Looks like everyone's here and accounted for. Dad, I'm sorry about the erosion. That was a lie. I brought y'all here for another reason. This might be our last chance. Do you all remember when you used to come here every day to pick us all up? The children pray here every day, hoping that one day the adults will come back for them. Even now, they still do. That's fucking rough. Nicolia, Mom, Dad. What on earth? The doc was telling the truth. He wanted to use the power of prayer to join this world and that world together. Since that statue is still working, I thought that the two worlds would be joined together and I'd have this chance to see her. Daddy, mommy. Why are you wearing armor? <laughs> well, I, you, you've been waiting here for us to come back this entire time, haven't you? Ever since I lost you, I felt so alone in my own head. My strict discipline push you too far? Not only did I fail to protect you, but I also made you feel so helpless. I'm sorry, I failed you as a father.
I was hoping to offer this at your grave someday. Please, will you take it? Been with Lucula for so long. I didn't want you to feel lonely. So we really are dead. When I started keeping everyone together just like you did, I realized how hard it really was for you. I'm the one who should be asking for forgiveness. I was always so selfish and caused so much trouble. I'm sorry. We don't feel suffocated by the adults, so don't blame yourselves. Please take care of Mom and Lucalia for me. Lucalia. Been so long, Lucolia. Been worried sick about you since we were separated. You've always been by my side since we were born. And I did depend on you for everything, but I think I'll be just fine on my own now. Thank you for everything. Thank you. I'm so glad I can here finally leave with peace in mind. Next life will be together. Just a lot. Thanks to you, we were able to see Lissa a lot again. Sorry that I haven't been true to you. And for all the times I lashed out at you with my own problems. We've both been taking it out on each other. Let's just forget about all that. I know that I've disobeyed you, but I'm happy you protected me from that monster. Thanks, Dad. How come it's thanks to that diary that we were able to see Lissalot again? You saved not only the town, but everyone's hearts, too. How could we ever repay you? In that case, I'd like to thank you on behalf of everyone in this town. Please take this. And then it's a happy song. If you're ever in town again, please feel free to stop by. I'm sure Lucolia would be more than happy to see you again, too. Welcome, thank you so much. Brett returned to town with Lucolia and the rest of the adults. That was a rough reaction. I kind of feel bad. And now everybody's happy and look at all the flowers they got. It's like that's rough on all the adults, but that's like the worst for her because she like has nobody now.
All right, well, that's the end of Salid. So we'll be going to Alahagiro, if I'm saying that right next time. And then we'll, I think we'll try, I'll try to like just finish 2.1 in general next time. We'll just have to see like kind of when I can fit it in and get it started kind of thing. Uh, but you know, we got two parts done this week, so that's pretty good. We're moving at a decent clip. 3.0 is where it gets really rough because like each of the parts are really long. So it's like 2.0 so far has been pretty easy to fit like one or two parts in a stream. But like three, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I might have to like rethink how I'm doing it. Pendulum of Fate has gained a little more power. Try looking elsewhere to increase its power even further. We need to change our fate. Hey, there we go. All right, we're at 72. I'll have a hero. All right, real quick, just for funsies, because it's a little bit earlier than I usually quit. Actually, no, no, I'm just going to. I'm just going to wrap up. I can I can end a little early once in a while. I've been a good boy. This isn't a job. That was kind of bitchy. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wrap up early. I was going to go to like the pyramid and show that off, but we'll do that another time. Like uh, the pyramid's like kind of a cool little it, it. What's the best way to describe it? It's a place to get accessories and it's kind of like a like a gauntlet style thing where you fight multiple enemies kind of like in in like waves in that. And then we've also at this level unlocked the ability to go to the tower, which is kind of cool. It's like an independently leveled area uh, where you kind of build out your character based on like equipment and stuff that you craft in the tower. Uh, and that's another way to get accessories in that. And each floor of the tower has a like a riddle on it and it'll be something, you know, it'll be like a certain way to defeat a monster. Um, and if you figure out what the riddle is, you'll get like bonus stuff at the at the end of it. So uh, the tower is pretty cool. The pyramid's pretty cool, but I'll get to them another day. I, I feel like I'm in a good stopping point. So that's what we're going to do for today, I think. So anyway. I just said it, but that's where we're going to leave Dragon Quest 10 for today. Uh, so, like I said, for the next week, what we're going to be doing is we are going to keep on going with Sea of Stars. I feel like if it's not this week, it's going to be next week that we're done with Sea of Stars. So it's coming close to the end. And then that's when we're going to be starting up the the sheer delight of. Um, I can't talk today. I can't think either. Uh, that's when we're going to be starting up Mother 3. And then after that, I'm either going to do a vote for the next game or we'll just go into Mystical Ninja because I've been wanting to get around to playing that. But I still don't have a memory card for my N64, so we'll just have to see if I get, not even get off my ass. Just go to the website and order the memory card. But anyway, uh, then we'll be picking back up with the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate playthrough on Wednesday because we're done with 4 Ultimate. And then we'll keep going with Frontier on Thursday. I'm feeling confident that I'll be able to take out either um, Inagami or Dora. I don't know why, but I feel like... I feel like I can maybe get Dora. Uh, I, ideally, I'd like to get the last four of them down in general, but it is what it is. But anyway, I want to thank you very much for checking out some Dragon Quest Ten today. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again some other time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.